Yeah, making a video is very different than going live. The head starts to get involved because you can delete it. Fuck that shit. This is the one I'm making. Good morning. Put a bit of I love you. Brian asked about this yesterday. I had a phone hit me in the face, my phone. And I just got to laugh about it this morning because it was an iPhone. <laughs> oh, fucking funny. Whew. I use humor a lot. What's, what's, what's much more true today is that I'm not wanting to make videos the last few days. Um, I feel scared and resentful. And also a vast ocean of willingness that only a dying and desperate man can know. Not to be dramatic or negative, but we all are dying. Some just go sooner. And it creates willingness. And a belief that there's really nothing, there's less and less to lose. Whatever I think I might lose. So good morning. The one inside who would go, who would have us go home is a little more convincing and loud each day. I wake up holding my breath and groaning. Five hours from the last dose, whenever that was. Um, so that's how I woke up at two this morning. Um, my first thought is, How am I going to get up and get upright so that I can get these four pain regimens going? Um, second thought, why are we doing this? Why am I going through this? Why, are we, why do we have to do this today? Third thought, because my story isn't over yet. Because I can. Because I hate goodbyes, especially the one I would have to say to myself if I go. And that keeps me here as much as anything does. It is my fear of abandonment, <laughs> and I don't want to abandon myself. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm here. So I stay because I know there is a deeper truth about why I want to go. Wow, I'm sweating. I'm so scared. That is rooted. There's a deeper truth about want to go, why I want to go that is rooted. I'm so scared. It's rooted in so much trauma, regret, shame, and loneliness that I would almost rather die than have to feel it, say it, share it, own it, or have to have you see it and hear me owning it. But I know that I have to. If I'm going to keep choosing life, I can't keep going. Unless I'm going to a little bit of deeper truth every single day. I and mean, that's the game right now. I can't hold on. I can't cherry pick how much truth that I share. I just have to be more honest than the day before. Wow. I think that's it. Whew. Um, I'm keep choosing life, I must keep revealing deeper truth until I'm in the center of my universe of unlovable beliefs about myself and putting them out there to share in the light of day. Hope, light, love, acceptance, and forgiveness and the desire and the 
and the desire to be here for another day. Um, so what is this reason beneath the reason for me wanting to go? Even with all the huge blessings, advantages that I have being an American white male. I do. I'm, I am blessed with a lot of amazing advantages in this life. I'm so blessed. So abundant. I judge myself for not being able to be grateful for being here. I'm more grateful. Um, I would rather go than feel the shame of letting you see who I really am on the inside. So beneath the suicidal urge I'm feeling right now is a sexual being that learned very early that I'm only lovable for my sexual offerings. Also learned that sex is shameful. It should never, ever be spoken of, ever. Oh, God, this is scary. It's okay to do it, just never okay to be heard or seen or felt in my desire for it. The desire is shameful and bad, and sex is shameful and bad, and I am shameful and bad for wanting it. So what runs me is that I should never, ever ask for it. So really, I never do, and I never have. Honestly, it has been um, absent from this life of mine, except a very few times by very aggressive, blunt, and persistent women. Maybe about once a year on average that happens. But, uh, yeah, that's been the average reality of my life. has been one of being sexually mute. <laughs> and it's killing me, maybe. It's killing me at this point to to be a secret. And I'm not willing to die for this secret. Almost. <laughs> or maybe, but not in this moment. Um, I'm so ashamed. I just want to get. I just want to get off here. I would rather die than tell you. Than ask for sex because if you want me, then I'm lovable, and if you don't, I'm not, and that's just too much at stake to risk. So I stuff my fear and desire and shame down and focus on death as an easier, faster solution over giving my desires a voice. I can't believe I'm sharing this on here, but I would rather die now than... I would rather die than share these things on here, but apparently I'm going to die anyway, so why not roll these terrifying dice of vulnerability, risk, trust, self-love, and willingness to be truly known for the first time, maybe... Before I die. And that's it, really. I just need to be me for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I would rather die known and disliked than unknown and liked. Just me, just here, just now, just this. Just love.